That also means that you should almost never be looking at your crosshair. I've talked to a lot of players I've trained who have asked about lining up the crosshair on the enemy. The only time you should be looking at your crosshair is at Greetings, my friends. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play any video game at maximum efficiency and focus. Now, this is generally reached through achieving peak levels of alertness and brain functionality. The information that I'm gonna provide here is holistic and universal to pretty much any game or sport, but we'll be rolling some of my Fortnite zero build gameplay in the background because that's what I play these days. Now, please keep in mind, there is no magic bullet solution for reaching maximum focus and mental ability. Instead, it's all about putting in the effort and preparation to get there. Let's start with one of the most fundamental ways to achieve maximum mental capacity and focus, sleep. Simply put, if you're not getting seven to eight hours of sleep per night, then you are not going to reach your full cognitive capacity. A sleep study done on college athletes and their reaction time found that poor sleep and sleep deprivation led to a significant decline in reaction speed on average of about 40 milliseconds. A similar study was done on college tennis players and found that poor sleep led up to 50% worse accuracy of tennis serves than their typical performance. And another study on college basketball players with sleep deprivation found that they scored 30% less points on average. So in order to keep your cognitive function high and your reaction speed quick, you need to avoid falling into sleep debt. Sleep debt is when you sleep fewer hours than your body needs. It's cumulative meaning that if you regularly get less sleep than you should, you're going to have more sleep debt. For instance, if you get four hours of sleep when you should be getting eight, you'll have a sleep debt of about four hours. You'll need to repay this debt with quality sleep. You don't have to sleep an extra four hours to pay back a four hour debt, but you'll need to sleep for a solid amount of time deeply with good quality. And the best way to get better sleep is by keeping your room cool and avoiding blue light at night, such as screens. Keeping your room cool is all about keeping your body Body temperature low. Your body temperature is directly correlated with how alert you are. The warmer you are, the more alert you get. The cooler you are, the more sleepy you get. But within reason, of course, immediate cold temperatures can have the exact opposite effect by making your body increase its internal heat production and make you more alert. More on that later. As far as avoiding blue light goes, every smartphone and computer these days has a way of scheduling blue light blockers to kick in at a certain time, so I recommend scheduling your blue light blockers to start at least three hours before bedtime on all your devices. Do a quick Google search for scheduling night lights or blue light filters on your device. And if you really have a hard time sleeping, do some research on Andrew Huberman's sleep cocktail consisting of apigenin, L-theanine, and magnesium threonate. I've been using this combination consistently for a couple of months now when I'm feeling wide awake at night and need some good sleep. And it's been amazing for falling asleep in minutes without my mind racing. But please, I encourage you to do your own research before taking any supplements supplements, I am not a doctor or a nutritionist. I recommend these supplements because they don't have any known adverse effects and also make up for common nutritional deficiencies as well as improve cognitive function. Link in the description below. Now let's talk about your wake up routine and how to maximize your energy levels to achieve better brain function and focus. A lot of what I'm talking about here is explained by Andrew Huberman through a series of videos that are explained much better than I could ever dream of doing. It's really fascinating stuff and I recommend watching his Huberman lab episodes or his visual animation collaborations with the After School YouTube channel. They have very informative videos animated in a fun way to help with learning. Andrew is a professor of neurobiology at Stanford School of Medicine and is definitely one of my favorite content creators for learning how to improve your life. I'm leaving out all the science jargon and details and I'll provide you with what I learned from his teaching in relation to focus and harnessing your natural energy stores. The first thing you wanna do after waking up is drink water and get hydrated, quickly followed by exposing yourself to natural light as soon as you can for about two to 10 minutes without any sunglasses. Go outside and just take a walk or hang out and enjoy the fresh air and scenery. This sets up your circadian rhythm, spikes your cortisol levels early in the day and stops the production of melatonin, which is what makes you sleepy. So getting natural light early in the day will make you more alert for the entire day, improve your mood and your level of focus. It's literally one of the easiest and most disproportionately powerful ways to spike your alertness for the rest of the day because it doesn't take much time or energy. So yeah, the first thing you want to do when you get up is drink a bunch of water and go outside. Another thing that Andrew Huberman recommends is waiting for about an hour after waking up 
consume caffeine. This has to do with the buildup of adenosine, which is a chemical in our brain that acts as a depressant to make us sleepy and suppress alertness. When you wake up, your body has to naturally clear out the adenosine from your body to come to full wakefulness but caffeine is an adenosine blocker. Basically, if you drink caffeine early, it doesn't allow your body to clear out the adenosine properly and will actually stay in your system and you'll end up having a midday crash once the caffeine wears off. All right, once you've got your natural chemicals working for you to be more alert for the rest of the day, you want to supercharge all of this with some adrenaline and dopamine. The best way to do that is with a cold shower. Remember, if you get your body very cold, it actually increases your internal body temperature and makes you more alert. At the same time, it makes your body start producing adrenaline and dopamine, which can help you feel much more alert throughout the rest of your day. Now, you don't necessarily have to endure an entire shower with cold water. You can shampoo and do the essentials in warm water, but the longer you stay in the cold water, the more alert you'll be for the rest of the day. I usually do about three minutes in full cold water, which is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll instantly start feeling a rush of adrenaline and alertness. Just just enjoy it and realize the cold water is turning you into a beast for the rest of the day. The longer you can stay in the cold water, the better. And if you have an ice bath, even better because you can get all the great benefits of a long cold shower, but in a much shorter time frame. Cold therapy has a ton of real science-backed benefits for your mind and your cardiovascular system. And there's a reason that the majority of professional athletes and top performers do it, even though it's very uncomfortable. All right, now you're pretty much set for peak alertness and focus for the rest of the day. The next thing you wanna do is get your mind in the right zone. What this really means is letting go of any stresses or worries you might be having. If there's something that is going to be on your mind while playing, you should try to deal with it before game time so that your head is 100% in the game. Things like meditation or a simple walk can really help with this. If you've got a list of things you need to get done running through your mind, get it out of your head by writing it down somewhere. Just put it on paper or or in a Word document and you'll feel much better. If you've got stresses that feel out of your control, do some research into meditation. It's extremely powerful and it can really help you live a more present life. I used to think meditation was a joke because I didn't really understand it, but in reality, all it can do is help you. It's essentially sitting down and listening to your thoughts without judging them, and then just working toward quiet in your mind to be more calm and balanced for the day. Whatever you need to do, the real objective is to clear your mind and boot up the game without any external thoughts or worries taken away from your focus. And just remember, if you can't do anything about it right now, then you need to let it go. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> the next thing you can do to prepare yourself for peak performance and focus while gaming is to take supplements. Now again, I'm not a doctor or nutritionist and I highly encourage you to do your own research before taking any supplement, but these are the ones I use for cognitive performance. Links to these products in the description below. I also advise you to be very cautious of how many nutrients or vitamins you're consuming per day from different sources and to avoid exceeding daily recommendations. Some nutrients and vitamins can be detrimental to your health if taken in excess. All right, starting with the basics, obviously caffeine can help you feel much more alert and provide more energy as long as you don't use too much. If you like G Fuel, you can use code SHINOBI for 20% off. I highly recommend using their Cherry Limeade Energy Mix and then mixing in a little bit of Hype Sauce Lemonade Hydration Powder for one of the most delicious and refreshing energy drinks you'll ever taste. All right, next up, I take Omega-3 and fish oil daily. I buy what they call a burpless supplement from Sports Research on Amazon, link in the description below. This is for mental, eye, and heart health, and yes, it really doesn't make you burp. I also take lutein daily for my eyes and brain. This is a naturally occurring carotenoid found throughout all parts of the brain and is linked to eye health. Basically, I take this to help avoid eye damage from looking at screens all day and improve brain and eye function. I also take a men's one a day supplement for a good source of daily vitamins but I only take this about every other day when I'm not drinking energy drinks or taking other supplements. Because again, we don't wanna take an excess amount of certain nutrients. I also take Focus Factor, which is a nootropic supplement. It's a blend of generally good brain nutrients without too much fluff. I get it from Costco and I take three tablets instead of the recommended four to avoid exceeding nutrient intake. 
All right, now you should just about be at maximum alertness and have a clear mind that is functioning near 100%. All your preparations have been made to have an awesome gaming session, but there is one major issue that 80% of players struggle with that holds them back from ever achieving their full potential during competitive gameplay, and that is combat anxiety. I personally run training programs for Fortnite Zero Build with my master students in the Shinobi Clan, and we do full endgame simulations with Zone Wars with other master members while I watch their screen and coach them. And I'm not joking when I say that 80% of the time that the person I'm coaching loses the game, it's due to anxiety and nervousness in combat. So if you're watching this and you think you're the only person that struggles with this, don't worry, you are among the 80% who have this problem, and every one of us had it at one point. The good news is that it's fairly easy Easy to get over with proper training and once you do you'll be a completely different player with a much higher success rate in combat and stressful situations. The way to master your emotions and calm your nerves during combat is with breathing and lots of repetition. The best way to do this in first person shooters is to go into practice maps where you can fight repeatedly. If you play Fortnite, I highly recommend going into creative maps like Red vs Blue Rumble, map code shown here, and practicing combat and breathing. What you need to do is train yourself to take a deep breath before entering a fight and then slowly exhale during the fight. Continue to breathe during combat. Deep breaths in through your nose and exhale through your mouth or your nose. Focus on your breathing first to enter a calm state, then focus on combat second. If you continue to do this on a daily basis for about half an hour, you will begin to be a much more calm and collected player during combat, and that is going to put you at a huge advantage over 80% of your enemies who are freaking out during combat. You'll have more oxygen entering your brain and a much clearer thought process during fights. Your focus will improve tremendously and your success rate will skyrocket in tense situations, mostly because you're no longer making stupid mistakes. And finally, the last piece of advice I have for you if you play shooter games is about visual focus. You would not believe how common of an issue this is. With all the particle effects and visual noise that happens on your screen in modern games, it's incredibly easy to lose focus of your enemy's character model. Instead of tracking your enemy's body and looking right at them, you're now starting to kind of look around them and kind of at the particle effects blowing up on your screen, the muzzle flash of your gun, the recoil of your gun, your reticle, etc. Etc. Instead, you need to be hyper focused and train yourself to only look at your enemy's character model. Do not let anything else distract you and take your eyes off of it, because there are plenty of opportunities to get distracted. That also means that you should almost never be looking at your crosshair. I've talked to a lot of players I've trained who have asked about lining up the crosshair onto the enemy. The only time you should be looking at your crosshair is at very long distances where your focus is literally placing the crosshair onto your enemy. At mid range and close range, you should only be looking at your enemy and let your brain and peripheral vision determine when the crosshair lines up with them. You'd be really surprised at how effective your hand-eye coordination is and how well you know where your crosshair is without looking at it. If you want to test this, go into a training mode or a custom map where you fight bots or enemies and turn off your crosshair in your game settings. Play like that for 10 minutes and you'll realize it's not all that different from normal. The crosshair definitely helps a little bit, but you already know where it should be. If you want to continue to improve your visual focus and tracking, I highly recommend watching my eye exercise and training warm-up video for FPS games. It can really help before jumping into the game. And if this type of stuff interests you and you play Fortnite Zero Build, check out the link below in the video description to join as a master level member to get access to hands-on training two to three days a week for myself and other master members. Or join at any level to get access to our private Shinobi Clan Discord full of awesome people who are all trying to improve their gameplay and help other members as well. And if you want to support me through Fortnite, the easiest way to do that is to use code TobyWanShinobi in your Fortnite item shop. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.